water, it's like you'd be like, no, it's just water. And uh, that's actually a thing that is like a, a giant relief when someone's like spilling something and then they say, no, it's just water. But then imagine if you were in the like ice skating rink and it was like in the Olympics, they've got this whole cosmic ice skating. And so then uh, they have a spotlight and that's where the ice skaters know where to go. But if that spotlight crapped out and now they're up shit's creek without a paddle. So yeah, everyone's looking at me as though I'm a deer in a headlight. Uh, the sidewalks, the first snow of the year are not done yet. And so, and so with the boot I'm wearing and an open toe, walking in the snow, you know, I have the balance of a meerkat, but um, the snow uh, is gonna seep into my sock, so this will be eventful. Uh, the sidewalks, the first snow of the year, are not done yet. And so there's like this snow and when I'm walking in it with my foot, it's like no one cares, if right? But you've got a car and you're driving through the snow like this one's on my right. Their vehicle is more expensive than my shoe. And so they're going to have the road shoveled out. I was in my car uh, a few years ago and I had to wake up before 5 a.m. before the snow plowers have came going through the snow more and so the snow was so high that it went into the ditch because the snow wasn't plowed at early in the morning it was, my entire car got stuck in the ditch and then the engine shot out entire car was now worse than my boot that is now soaked and so the expenditures at defenses you might not think you're in a defense mode and actually already be in it for tech is so stupendous it's like you can not know if you're in a defense or not at any point in time and this is the thing where people i've got to mention that it's in the warfare i was trying to mention this earlier uh of the leaders of the world where they have such power but the power is not with aggression no not like the mongolians where genghis khan ran roughshod the taxing again with my taxes. They didn't accept my ID. So if you're a tech company, you cannot accept ID uh, and you can't go in and see them to verify yourself because it's digital. Um, that's politics. So using the words like buddy wuddy is childish, but really it's like that of an entire different uh, subcategory. You're using childish, but if you're doing your actions where it's um, using it in a stance like outside, then it's like, well, no one's really speaking up outside um, on the camera, camming up. And so when you're doing it, it's like being put over if it's meaningful. Quite the hypothesis, but one up and we forgot the status quo that's talent enhancement. This is of esophagus. When you can't talk about body anatomy, on the internet, you can't show red blood because it's too, uh, well, inciting, you know what. And so you kind of just, you know, you're going to be thrown into the abyss uh, because they're pretending you're staring at it, being bloodthirsty if you post a picture of it. They're um, day and age. Uh, so by using the word esophagus and other words, you know, when you start talking about sciencey stuff, it's kind of boring. And so then even anatomy more so is frowned upon because a certain group of individuals are morphing themselves into a tomb of the bottomless pit, aside from the abyss. And so by using childish outside linguistics is the name of the game thanks for watching